How's it going out there, everybody? As always, I am North Knight, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Continuing from where we left off. If you remember right, we were over here. We were about over here in the frozen area. Our, our thrall died. What we did, uh, we did a little bit of exploring. We had, a uh, we left off, like, somewhere over here on this mountainside. I think we were, like, like somewhere over here. What we did was we scaled the mountain. We went down over here. And whatnot, looking for black ice. And we didn't find black ice. What we found was a lot of death. Lots and lots of death. There's like, there's like wolves, mammoths, and saber-toothed tigers. There's like, just like freaking everywhere. And died like four or five times yesterday. So, <laughs> you can kind of see the path I walked. We came up, we got here. We were constantly running from enemies over here, just constant. We get, we came here, and we went up here to Flush Needle Forest. We decided to go ahead and come over here to uh, the frozen slopes. Now, when you're wanting to get like a good, if you're wanting to find the meteors that will eventually sometimes fall, uh, it's best to set up like a little campsite here at the frozen slopes because this is, has the uh, best. This has the highest spawn rate for the meteors to fall. We also came over uh, here near the Temple of Frost. And uh, to find the Forge of Ymir. Because over here is... I, I know... I, I know exactly... I knew exactly there was black ice over here. So that's why we... Uh, it's like we were already this close. So I was like, let's just scale this mountain. Come over here and then come up this way. So that's what we did off camera, and like I said, had lots of death. We had picked up some black ice over here, and uh, we got a bunch of black, uh, about a two full stacks of 500 black ice in our forge over there with some brimstone, making some hardened steel, and we made uh, some, we made our preservation bins and. Got them with some ice in there, so our food will stay nice and preserved. They're fruit. They say preservation bins, but really they're fridges. Come on. So we haven't had this uh, chugging out us uh, deal long. Got it. Uh, could make another about three hundred. So let's see. If I don't seem too enthusiastic right now for the beginning of this video, it's uh, it's only about seven in the morning right now. So <laughs> what we're going to do is uh, we want to make a stove real quick so I can have our cook thrall set up there. So stone iron reinforcements easy. Back over here to our blacksmith bench. Grab that. Usually, I think we have some iron reinforcements in our storehouse. Now, building building this little village, like I usually like to do when I play Conan Exiles, is uh, yeah, all right. But it's not really something you can do. Uh, you can't really use. <sighs> can't really have this kind of setup with like all these, you know, just set up everywhere with ingredient. Because you know there'll be, especially if you're like playing online, an online server. Kind of have to keep everything like all this stuff tucked in your buildings because. Some players will, there'll be some players who will respect your stuff and leave it alone. But then there's those butthole players who will just be like, Oh, what, what, and it's like, oh, look at all, look at all this. This, uh, dried wood and resin. Uh, let, come on, guys, let's take all that. Or, uh, then they'd come over here and be like, It's like, oh, look at all this advanced materials. A lot of hardened steels, a lot of steel, a lot of iron, black ice. Let's take all this. 
Oh, let's take all this too. You know, you could. Oh, look, some uh, high, some pretty high tier weapons and armor. We'll take those too. So when you play online, you kind of have to get a little more. You have to get a little more structurally with your defenses. You have to make. Uh, you can do what, uh, you do the classic thing of just build one giant freaking wall around your base and set it up with the, uh, little spiked panelings on the side so when people try to climb, it just causes them to fall. So let's see, we're gonna make, that's right, burn, uh, stove. So I think, I think what we will do is, we'll go and destroy the, we'll try to go destroy the Abyssal Remnant in this episode or the uh, next. Because we need that to continue through the story. Uh, face this way please. And get this placed about right here in front of the window. We'll re swap to our better armor. Let's grab our cook out of here. Go place her in. Let's put her there. As you see, we've got a whole slew of uh, stuff to be able to make. Ah, that's right. Exotic feet. Exotic feast is what you want to make. You want to also pick up the specialist cooking that will give you iced tea. Because iced tea's uh, regenerative effect is like 10, 10 HP. And this is like, I think, 5 or 7 or something like that. And uh, iced tea's regenerative uh, health regeneration actually stacks with other meals so you could really give yourself like a nice health regeneration and uh, the specialist cooking for it is somewhere over here at the uh, mounds of the dead it's in one of these it's in it, you've seen the little book over there at the trapper's cabin that's what you're looking for, and it's... I'll show you where to find it if I remember correctly. But it's, it, it is in one of these little circular buildings. And once we defeat the Abyssal Remnant, we'll get this... We'll get this uh, little staff that we have to take into the Tower of Bats. And, you know, it's somewhere over here in the desert it, it's it's a decently easy landmark to find because it's you know it's almost like a big ruined tower but all, we will find also another set of specialist cooking and if we come over here to this little oasis I believe uh, there's like some little like temple of Mitra somewhere over here you can see being uh, little temp statue meter being built, and I think there's another book over there for specialist cooking. So we can get that. But what we want to do right now is go and grab our. Let's see, where would, where did I put it? My. I'm trying to remember where I put my good armor. Let's do this actually right quick. Prepare our sword. We're gonna get that repaired because we we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go to try to fight the abyssal remnant. And uh, see, now that's my companion stuff that died. We want to make a bow. And 
that would make it at the carpenter's bench. So let's see. Now you can, you want to make when you when you get to where you have a good throw, you want to make these healing arrows. They will uh, throw down a little mist that causes your uh, well causes anything that stands within it to regenerate health as long as they're in that little mist. So you can really use that to keep your thralls healthy, but it can also heal your opponents as well. So let's see. It's the best arrows we can make. Let's go back to our feet section. Go back to uh, the weapon area. Go back down to the bow sec archery section. And I believe it's ancient bow. Ancient bow and razor arrows. So what do we need to make an ancient bow? Is sharpened wood, thick leather, silk, and steel. Well, we've got plenty of hardened steel now. But we need steel, not... We don't, uh, don't need hardened steel. We should still have some... We have 12 in here. Hmm. We need... We need steel for the ancient bow. And steel for the uh, steel arrows. And we can't make any arrows until we get feathers. Kind of at a, we're at a small bottleneck right now. We need uh, we need to get more uh, hide. So let's see. What do we what do, what do we want to do right quick? Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. I can go to my. I think we'll make a, uh, I think we'll make, well, we don't have the steel to make steel reinforcements. Yeah, I was thinking about making the armored animal pen. That way we can get some animals to be our little pack mules. That way we can, uh, when we head out, we can take them with us so they can carry back a bunch of stuff. I could easily make hardened brick. We've got insulated wood. We got steel reinforcement. Well we don't have steel. We need what we need is fur. Or uh, not fur but uh we need hides to be able to make into uh, leather that way we can get some tar. So. I think we will head over here to the savannah area. Cause, so let's go over here. To the priest king's retreat. Because that will get us closer to that little savannah. Because there's a lot of animals over there. That, there's a lot of animals over there that will uh, give us some good hides. And we, apparently we spawn in water. So let's uh, swim and head this way. So yeah, if, I, if, I'm, not, if I'm not talkative, like I said, it's, early, it's only about seven here in the morning. We saw that we should have also switched to our better armor instead of the uh, the 205 armor we have instead of this 111 armor because this armor is meant to keep us cool when it doesn't so we're not really in the best position well this we're not having sunstroke or heat stroke whatever <laughs> 
Hello, friend. Now, let's see, what can we take on? Do you feel like taking on a tiger? Elephant? Rhino? It's like, what do we feel like fighting? That, that we think we can beat? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I know. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, I can't really, I can't really remember. Make him pay, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I know it is. I think it's been forever since anyone has ever used that for anything. No. Well, apparently the tiger. Are you gonna make the decision for us? I know it is. Okay. Handled that easy. Hey, get back here. Okay, Rhino's decently easy. Ow, 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 ow! Me on the side of you, thank you. Who knew? A Rhino's charge, very deadly. Alrighty, that... Oh boy. This is right here, dead. Stupid tiger. You two fight each other. You two fight each other and I'll kill the winner. Better yet, you'll both be weak. I'll just kill you both. <laughs> Losers. But who knew a rhino's uh, charge could be very deadly? <laughs> if we come over here, let's pick up this named location right quick. We should be picking it up. Why aren't we? It's called, there it is, Swagger Rock. Now, honestly, you see we have a nice big old lion right up there mounting on the uh, sitting on the top now if we come back here now if you if you can't immediately guess what movie this is just by looking at this then you've never watched a classic Disney Disney movie before because anyone that has watched a Disney movie will know what this is like an immediate reference to I mean, you look at it and you How could you not look at this rock formation and be like, Yep. It's like, this is definitely a movie reference. I'll give you, I'll give everyone at home five seconds to try to guess what uh, rock formation this is. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Ding, 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 ding. Time's up. This is, uh... This is Pride Rock, basically, from the Disney movie Lion King. If you have never seen Lion King, go watch it. And when you see Pride Rock for the first time, you'll be like, yep, this is definitely that place. And I love it because Lion King is one of, Lion King is one of my favorite Disney movies. I mean, I, I've watched all the Disney movies. All the old classics like Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid, and all that. So, we're about out of time. About run 30 or so seconds left. So, we'll make a couple of trips back and forward between there and just fill up our tannery with a whole bunch of. Uh, Eyes to be turned into stuff and we will tr we will go do the uh, when we come back 
I'll fast travel over here to the dregs and we'll uh, I'll have all the necessary gear and whatnot to fight the abyssal remnant and we'll so we'll go through that dungeon and we'll fight him so we can proceed on with the journal and get through the uh, story but anyway guys thank y'all for joining me please be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and I will see y'all next time Goodbye.